let's get started. Welcome to session three on uh, the ARM developer program. My name is Arnaud de Grandmaison. I work at ARM. Uh, I've been uh, working at ARM for 10 years now. Uh, but uh, ARM uh, has been known to me for a very long time because when I started my career back, I mean, 30 year, more, more than 30 years back now, uh, at VLSI Technology, uh, we were designing ASICs with the ARM 7 TDMIS, uh, or 7 TDMI, then 7S, then all the 926, 946, ARM 11, and then it became uh, Cortex M, R, and A. And uh, so, yes, so I've been able to to watch how the, the whole ecosystem has evolved uh, over the, those 30 years, and that's uh, just uh, incredible. And, uh, and I hope that this presentation will uh, resonate uh, quite a lot with uh, what uh, you've heard at the keynote. Uh, well, at least the keynote did resonate a lot with, for me with uh, the presentation. So today I will talk about the ARM developer program. Uh, so the first thing, uh, I will start with an anti-definition. Uh, this is not about developer.arm.com, uh, which is the, the ARM documentation that we all love. One thing uh, which uh, we, uh, we, have, uh, we, we can observe uh, in those 30 years is that the, uh, the ecosystem has changed a lot, uh, as uh, Grant uh, pointed out in the keynote. Uh, a long time ago, and uh, until not so, so long ago, it was mainly verticals. Uh, so you could develop your system uh, almost in isolation, and that was, uh, that was fine. Uh, this is uh, today no longer the, the case. Uh, you have uh, many different verticals which need to discuss uh, together and have links. Uh, you have libraries which can use, be used in embedded, in embedded world or on servers, uh, and so on. So that's one thing. The, the second thing uh, uh, that, uh, that will happen is that we will get more and more new developers uh, coming to the ARM ecosystem. Uh, because this is uh, becoming a very popular platform. It's uh, available as a server. It, will, it is available on laptops yeah, and, and so on. So we will get more developers. So how can we tr uh, transition from a world where uh, we, we were experts uh, working uh, in isolation uh, and how can we welcome all those new developers uh, to a platform which is new to them? And as software developers, we, we work very hard to try to abstract the hardware and, and make it work uh, as best as it can everywhere. But let's admit it, uh, we kind of fail. It's not perfect. So having the, the software uh, run kind of uh, uh, and be functionally correct on the target platform is a, is a nice first step. Uh, but now we are beyond that step. We want the software to run well and fast and uh, with quality and so on. So how can uh, make we make that step easier for the new developers? Uh, I mean, the developers coming to the ARM platform. The last point is when I reflect on uh, my, uh, my own career, uh, how did I uh, get to uh, become the, uh, the software engineer that I am? Uh, so for, of course, I went, uh, like any, anyone in this room probably, uh, went to uni. Uh, we had tons of lectures on programming languages, uh, software engineering, and so on. I read lots of books. But uh, if I'm honest, uh, where I have learned the most, uh, that's with the, uh, from the experience of uh, other software engineers. Uh, so that's, uh, those people have mentored me uh, and made me a better software engineer uh, over the years. And uh, probably there is still uh, room for improvement. And I, I hope that I'm able also to, um, to help junior engineers uh, become uh, better software engineers. So what can we do there? The, uh, the, the, the main goal of, the, uh, of the, the ARM developer program is to provide a, uh, a space where uh, we can share across the different verticals uh, I've been talking about. So for example, you have people working on Linux, you have people working on some computer vision library, we have people working on uh, some uh, matrix processing stuff. Uh, those people need to work together. Uh, so far, there are communities which exist, like for the Linux kernel or for the compiler, the compiler folks. You have the LLVM community, the GCC community. They kind of discuss, 
uh, but we want, uh, we have all those verticals, and uh, as ARM, we want to provide some horizontal thing uh, where uh, you can uh, uh, exchange and benefit uh, from uh, what some verticals have learned in their field uh, about the ARM platform. So the, the vision for the program is to, uh, yeah, to really to help build better software, uh, to provide a community space, uh, so that we can all develop new, uh, new skills together. Ultimately, behind all this, the, the goal is to make ARM the development platform of choice. Uh, so it should be easy, it works, uh, if you have questions, you can get answers either in the documentation, but this exists already today, uh, but then that's all the other things to make the, the first step uh, easy. The thing that we want to do is to build that uh, software community uh, around the, 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 the ARM platform uh, across the different verticals. We don't intend to replace uh, the communities uh, for each of those uh, verticals. This is not, uh, the intent is not to replace Linaro or whatever, it's just to augment what exists today and uh, allow people to easily connect uh, uh, through the platform uh, to uh, people working in a, a different uh, vertical. The uh, intent there is also that uh, if uh, we have developers uh, uh, aware and uh, used to work with uh, ARM and they, they know how to do that, then they can influence their own communities just so that uh, for the next releases and so on, things will improve and work better over time. Uh, so that's in the interest of uh, each one of us here. And finally, uh, the, the goal is to, uh, to create a, a space where uh, developers can engage and, uh, and discuss. So that's a bit in the model of the open source communities, but it's larger because it is not just for a single project, it's more on the platform. Today we uh, have, uh, so the slide is, uh, is, is already dating a bit, it's not, th well it's thousands, but it's uh, uh, more than 10,000 uh, people who have joined uh, the program already. They come from uh, numerous uh, entities, uh, as you can see, uh, from microcontrollers to servers to uh, software, more software companies, uh, and so on. But this is not only people software developers doing that for a living. Uh, you also have uh, students and uh, hobbyists, uh, and that's also interesting when you are on the, uh, in the program to see how your, your, uh, your software is being used by other people. So that's uh, other use cases that you, can, uh, that you can meet there. What is the population in the, in the program looking like? Uh, so on the left-hand side, uh, you have uh, some uh, army, uh, army engineers participating to the program. So people from the GPU team, from the debugger team, from the performance analysis team, uh, from the Linux kernel team as well. Uh, and they, they, can, uh, they can help you uh, there. And then you have all the other members from the, uh, from the rest of the ecosystem. Among those members, as in every uh, community uh, around, uh, some of those members are more active. They are taking an active role in the community by, by organizing events or by promoting their project or uh, helping and so on. And those people can uh, apply to become ambassadors. And uh, you will see that they get some benefits uh, uh, when they, when with the amb ambassador status. And in some cases, uh, we even have the distinguished ambassador uh, thing uh, for uh, ambassadors who have uh, accomplished uh, 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 notable uh, contributions to the, uh, to the ecosystem. So, as a mem uh, so uh, I have to say that the membership is free. Uh, there is no, no problem, uh, uh, I mean, there is no, no fee uh, there. Uh, you are not, uh, working for ARM, you are working for your employer. Uh, this is all about uh, improving the ecosystem, uh, improving your, your product, making your product more accessible to other engineers. And uh, so that's all about collaboration, which is uh, the, the very much the topic uh, of the conference, uh, of this conference. So you will get access uh, to uh, talks, uh, workshops, events, uh, mentorships uh, from, uh, from the experts. 
you will also get access from uh, to resources resources uh, from either arm or from the uh, arm ecosystem uh, and uh, in the ne next slide i will uh, show what this is uh, about and then you get also to uh, to network uh, with all other members in the in the community so the i'm afraid it's not very readable uh, there but the uh, so the the hub uh, where everything is taking place is the, the, the ARM Developer Hub at the, this uh, URL. And uh, you get uh, hundreds of tutorials, videos, uh, and trainings uh, on how to develop software uh, on ARM and, uh, and other topics. Uh, you also get access to tools uh, and software and documentation, and this is all free and uh, accessible. If we dive a bit into what we have, so either you navigate the site uh, by, uh, from, uh, by your, uh, the type uh, of device you are working on, so I, is, is that uh, servers, laptops, uh, microcontrollers, or you can navigate the site uh, by the type of uh, content uh, that you want. So, uh, in amongst uh, the different type of contents that we have, we have learning path, uh, which are uh, tutorials, uh, we have on-demand videos, and so on. So for the learning path, that's either tutorials, uh, that's um, guides to uh, get started on a, on a software. Uh, on, on, yeah. And it addresses uh, topics uh, on, from very different uh, categories. So either softwares, I mean either servers or microcontrollers uh, or mobile, we will say that in a, in a minute with an example. And as developer, uh, if, you, uh, if you notice that uh, a learning path is missing, uh, okay, for, for sure in the beginning some will be missing, uh, you can submit a request uh, for, uh, for a learning path. Uh, but as all the learning paths are on GitHub, uh, you can also uh, submit a pull request uh, to add the, your, uh, your learning path if you, are, if, you, if you can contribute to it. So here, the, in the what changed in the slide is the is the, the screenshot. Uh, so in, in in this example, uh, this is about using the Neon Intrinsics to optimize Unity on Android. So yes, it can be very very specific, but it can also be about okay how to get uh, how to install some server uh, on an Arch64 uh, workstation, for example, or this type of things. You have as well uh, on-demand videos. Uh, so it's a very large uh, catalog uh, that we have. Um, from, uh, and they, on top of many COVID topics, you also have uh, different, uh, I mean, very short videos uh, or in, uh, workshops or in-depth videos uh, from uh, the technology specialists on, on a very specific topic. Uh, and you can search that, and over time, the, the database uh, will, will grow, of course. And one thing which I uh, forgot to, uh, to mention on the learning path is that we are uh, regularly curating them uh, to make sure that they are still up to date, that the links are not broken, that the examples compile, and uh, this type of thing. So that's, we will see how it, uh, it works uh, over time, uh, because there will be more and more of those learning paths. But uh, we are working hard to, uh, to, uh, to keep them uh, up to date. For the on-demand videos here, this is just an example uh, where I don't remember who is uh, explaining uh, how to, de to debug uh, some firmware uh, with GDB. And uh, so yes, you in that video, you can lear learn much more than what you would have expected on, the, on debugging uh, some deeply embedded uh, code. Of course, for, uh, for a community to exist, uh, the, the the members uh, need to be able to discuss. So there will be there are uh, there will be events and this type of things, but there will there is also uh, a Discord channel, a Discord server, uh, with plenty of uh, of topics uh, that uh, that are there. Uh, we encourage the ambassadors to uh, host uh, their uh, office hour sessions. Uh, we do, as uh, our engineers, also have uh, office hours. Uh, so, yes, uh, that's really, yeah. 
And if I'm here today, uh, this is to let you know that you can become an uh, ARM ambassador. Uh, you just need to, uh, to apply uh, for that. Uh, so why would you, uh, why would you apply? Uh, for example, that would be in the case where you, have, uh, you are working on some library uh, that work on ARM, and uh, you want to get some more visibility for that library, uh, touch users from a different domain than the one uh, you are used to. Uh, so, yeah. As an ambassador, uh, the ambassador is someone uh, who will be active in the community, so with their, their office hours, but also about promoting their project and, uh, and, uh, and helping other members in the community and so on. And uh, basically, the, what we expect is that the ambassador will raise the awareness of the program uh, amongst the, the, all the other communities uh, so that people know that they can go to the uh, ARM developer program uh, to get help uh, on, their, on their project. We already have uh, a bit more than 100 ambassadors. Uh, so you can notice the ratio between 100 ambassadors and uh, 10,000 members. Uh, that's not a surprise. Uh, but that's, that's how it is in every, in every community, and that's fine, no, no problem with that. Uh, and you can notice that they come from very different uh, worlds. So if ever uh, you, you have some questions, you can probably find someone from whoever on the list uh, on, the, on Discord, and uh, they can, if they cannot answer your questions, they can point you uh, to, the, to the, the relevant people. So it's probably the, the bulk of the discussion will not happen on the, the Discord server, but at least it can get you introduced in that new community uh, to you. As an ARM ambassador, uh, I mean, my own experience in the LLVM community is that uh, when you are an active member, uh, you get to contribute, you get some recognition there, uh, you share your knowledge, so all that is very, I, I found it very important. But there are other things that you can get uh, here in the, uh, in the ARM uh, developer program. Uh, so the, the thing is, okay, to network with, uh, with the other members. So that's uh, something important, especially now that the systems will have to integrate uh, logic, I mean, software items from uh, other verticals and so on. So you need to network with people uh, from other communities. We can co-market uh, together uh, your project. Uh, you can mentor uh, other engineers or be mentored. Uh, so that's uh, something important uh, to... Uh, to progress in your career. Uh, you can get training, uh, uh, or I mean support, if you uh, want to host uh, local events, uh, for example. So that's, uh, I've seen that uh, when, you are, when you are alone uh, in, your, in your city or whatever, uh, you don't have support, well, we can try to, uh, to support you in hosting your events, because uh, so, it's easy to, to, uh, to attract a number of uh, that attract some crowd when you are in San Francisco in the Bay Area, uh, so in those big uh, I mean, that resource pool, let's say, uh, but in some other place it's a bit harder, so we can help you there. You can also get some trainings uh, from, from ARM. We also have some exclusive content uh, for the ambassadors. And one point which uh, I found uh, particularly, particularly uh, noticeable was that if you, are, if you want to uh, write a book uh, on uh, something related to ARM, on your project uh, on ARM and, and, so, and so on, then as ARM, we can help you. Uh, so that's the very first time I see that. Uh, I've never seen that before. Uh, I think we are still sorting out the details. Uh, but uh, as ARM, we, uh, we are in touch with a number of professional publishers. Uh, so we can put you in contact and we can help you to create the, curate the content, uh, review uh, the book, and uh, do this, uh, this kind of stuff. Ah, and of course, uh, there will be swag, uh, like this t-shirt. <laughs> and yes, so feel free uh, to join us uh, today. Uh, start with a member, there is no, as, as a member, there is no commitment, get a taste of uh, what it's like. And if you like it, then uh, okay, uh, apply for uh, for the ambassadorship. Uh, and if you are, so that's uh, this, you will have this in the slide deck, uh, which is available on the on the conference site. Uh, and if you have, uh, if you are shy and don't want even to 
uh, at start as a member, uh, you can get uh, more information on the ARM developer program at this uh, URL. So, thanks a lot uh, for uh, attending this uh, presentation. Uh, I have to admit that I was a, a bit uh, tense to, to present this, which is a bit uh, sort of, of some uh, marketing material. But in fact, it's not marketing, it's, uh, it's more, it's advertisement, granted, uh, but that for, go for good developer stuff. Uh, so yes, and, uh, yeah, and if you have questions, uh, I'm happy to, uh, to answer if I can. Up. Yes. It's recorded. So I don't think this is marketing, purely marketing, really. I mean, the, com the community is really very active and helpful. So I've been in Discord for quite some time, and I see people really engage in asking questions. So it's definitely. You know, not marketing the sense that ARM is trying to sell something, right? Mm. It's really trying to help developers work on the platform. So I think that's yeah. great, really. No, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a software developer. Uh, I understand. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. You have a, a bit more time for the break then. <laughs>